Question number two for periods of simple harmonic motion. A block of mass 50 gram is attached to a light helical spring with a force constant of uh, 2.5 newton per meter. The block is free to oscillate on a smooth horizontal surface. The block is displaced 6 cm from the equilibrium position and released. Okay, good. Um, yes, uh, things we have here is mass. Uh, take note, it's in gram, not SI unit, so we need to change to kilogram. Okay, in fact, I changed already. Okay, we have mass, we have the force constant, this is the K, free to oxalate, and then uh, this sentence is very important. The system, the system seems to start from the amplitude. Okay, the word displaced here, the word, this he said displaced 6 cm from the equilibrium position and release. Okay, first thing, there are two things we need to take note here. He said display 6 cm and then release. You display something 6 cm and release. Means the 6 cm become what? What does it become? You, you, you display 6 cm, then the object will start to oscillate with also amplitude 6 cm, isn't it? You display 6 cm, will the amplitude become more than 6 cm? Become 10 cm? Or in other words, you, you, you pull 6 cm, you pull 6 cm, it oxalate with 6 cm, or when you pull 6 cm, it pull, uh, oxalate with 10 cm? That's not possible, right? You pull, how much you pull, then it will oxalate with that much. Uh, you pull 6 cm, then it will also oxalate with amplitude 6 cm. So what, in short, what I want to say is, how much you di displace, how much you displace is how much your amplitude. That's your maximum displacement, 6 cm. So the word displace, the word displace means uh, how much you pull will be how much your amplitude. Understand that? How much you pull is how much your amplitude, how much your maximum displacement. So that's the amplitude, 6 cm. And it is cm. Uh, one thing, uh, the unit, be careful, this is gram, uh, the newton meter, never mind. Okay, the cm. Uh, you need to change to SI unit, meter. Uh, okay, be careful. Another thing to take note is, it displays from the equilibrium position and release. Uh, release. Release means... Once you release, the time start because it, the, the system start to oxalate, isn't it? The, 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 it start to oxalate. So at zero second, as, uh, that means once you release, the time start, the clock start, the clock start ticking. Uh, so that means once you release, the time starts and the block is oxalating. So this means that these things oxalate, this oxalation, does not start from equilibrium position. Ah, it starts from the amplitude, the place you displace, uh, which is 6 cm. So the formula, the formula of this is not, is not, uh, we can say, uh, the, this system does not follow A sine omega t. No. But it has, for this case, it has what we call the phase angle, initial phase constant. Uh, so what happens is this one. It starts from amplitude. Okay? So it uh, release, at the moment it release, the system starts to start oscillate from the amplitude. Uh, okay? So the, or oh, I, I already written here, yeah? I already written here. Ah. Uh, so at zero second, at zero second, the displacement is at, at amplitude. So uh, the system actually start to oscillate from the amplitude. Uh, the system does not start from the zero displacement. It start from the amplitude. So at zero second, the moment it displays, uh, the moment it release, it start from the amplitude. Uh, so it oscillate. So it become actually a cost graph. 
I become a cost graph. If we still insist want to use a sine equation, yes, but we need to include the initial phase angle, which is pi over 2. Uh, pi, phi, this is called phase angle. Uh, pi over 2, which is called the initial phase angle or called phase constant. Uh, why we have phi in the formula? Because uh, at 0 second, the displacement does not start from 0. So it has a certain initial phase angle called phi. And our phi is pi over 2 radian. Okay, pi over 2 radian. So actually the equation is x equal to a sine omega t plus pi over 2. But if you use trigonometry, you know, the, uh, sorry, uh, if you use trigonometry, uh, you try and derive. This a uh, sine omega t plus pi over 2, you will get cos omega t. Uh, you get actually a cost graph. Okay? Uh, so, at 0 second, it starts to oscillate uh, from the amplitude. Okay? Uh, so, actually, it's a cost, cost graph and cosine equation. Now, um, okay, let's uh, start our questions. So, we have the mass. Uh, I changed to kilogram already. Uh, spring cons uh, the force constant is 2.5 and the amplitude okay, is 6 cm. Uh, so the word, how much it displays, uh, the, the word displays means amplitude. Uh, how much we displace, then it becomes our amplitude. Okay? Uh, so 6 cm. So convert to meter, uh, convert to SI unit. Uh, divide by 100 is 0 0.06 meter. Okay, so we want to find the period of oscillation now. Uh, this is a spring mass system. So the formula is 2 pi square root m over k. Okay, uh, so do we have the mass? Yes, we have the mass already. Uh, 0 0.05 kilogram. And k is uh, 2.50. So, what is our period? What's our period? Our period is uh, 0. Point, sorry, 0. 0.889 second. Uh, that's our period. Now, what is our maximum speed? Maximum speed. Maximum speed formula is A omega. Uh, A omega. So, we don't have the omega, but we have the period already. Uh, we need to find the omega first which is 2 pi over period, so uh, 0 0.899 for the period, and what is our omega? So our omega is uh, 7.0677 radian per second, that's our omega, uh, so our amplitude, our amplitude is 6 cm, how much we displace is how much our amplitude, uh, I already convert to meter, so that is uh, 0 0.06, 0 0.06 meter, then 7.0677, okay? So what is the maximum speed? 0 0.424 meter per second. Yes, that's our maximum speed. Now, what is our maximum acceleration? Maximum acceleration, A omega square. The formula A omega square. So just use our... Amplitude and omega, we got just now. Amplitude is 0 0.06 meter. Omega is 7.0677 square. Uh, square. So the answer is 2.997 meter per second square. That's our answer. Now, uh, we got our uh, maximum speed and maximum acceleration. Yeah, that's correct, the answer. Now, determine the position of the block. De determine the position of the block at this time, 0 0.5 second. Okay. If the question asks for. Sorry, lagging. So the question asks for. Um, wait, uh, give me a second. All right. The question asks for position. That means he asks for displacement. Okay, at this time. So, we need to use the displacement time equation. Okay, displacement time equation. Do we have any displacement time equation? Not yet. Um, but, 
yes just now what i say is the block start to oscillate from the amplitude isn't it uh, so the graph is a cosine graph the graph is a cosine graph uh, because it start to oscillate at the amplitude you see at uh, zero second at zero second uh, at uh, at zero second the x is amplitude uh, because it displays until amplitude then release isn't it uh, yeah this is the moment you release you release at zero second then the time start is then the system start to oscillate from the amplitude so it become a cosine graph and become a cosine graph uh, so in terms of the initial phase angle, if we still insist want to use a sine equation, uh, we have a phase constant uh, called the pi over 2. Uh, if you use trigonometry, uh, use the sine a plus b becomes sine a, b, uh, sine a cos b plus cos a sine b, uh, you will get the, this, this equation, cosine equation. Okay? Okay, now, good. Uh, so, in other words, our displacement equation is a cosine equation. Okay, so do we have the amplitude? Do you have the amplitude? Yes, it is uh, zero, uh, 6 cm, which is 0 0.06 meter. So, in fact, uh, this is 0 0.06 meter. Uh, okay, uh, so we have the, we already have the amplitude. 0 0.06 meter now do we have the uh, do we have the omega yes we have the omega omega is uh in si unit okay omega is in si unit second okay so uh 7.0677 7 t okay so just now just now uh, what's the unit you you give when you give equation okay when you give equation make sure you know the unit x in meter t in second because all this while is all in our amplitude is uh, in meter yeah so our amplitude is in meter so our ta our omega is also second per second uh, so uh, that's why our x is meter our t is also second okay so make sure all in SI unit. Eh? Now uh, we want to find the position of the block at this time. So we use this equation to find. We use this equation. So put the time there. Uh, so what you do is you substitute the time. Uh, you substitute the time with 0. 0 uh, sorry, 0. 0.50. Uh, 0. Um, second. Okay, so and then we can get the 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 the, the, the position, the x. X is equal to zero point zero six, uh, cosine, uh, seven point zero six seven seven, times zero point five zero second. So our x is equal to what is our x? Our x is equal to a negative zero point zero. Uh, five five four meter uh, meter okay uh, so it's meter why what is meter uh, because because uh, x is in meter because our amplitude already in meter you see our amplitude is in meter uh, so our x also in meter uh, so if you want to convert to cm if you want to convert to cm just multiply by 100 so it is uh multiply hundred is five point five four cm. Uh, be careful. Yeah, the the negative sign also must include ah uh, negative sign means a uh, negative displacement. Okay, is that the answer? Yeah, displacement is negative five point five four cm. Ah, uh, okay. So be careful with the unit. All right. So in short, what I want to say is um. How much you displace is how much your amplitude. Okay, the amplitude won't go more than how much you displ displace. Okay, all right. And if you displaced, uh, uh, if you release from the amplitude, if you release 
from the amplitude if the time start from the amplitude then your equation is a cosine equation because if you release from the amplitude it is a cosine graph okay and that's all for these uh, questions see you in the next question